Now our debug screen is, you know, it's a special screen and we pretty much want it to always be available throughout the game. So we're actually going to embed this uh, screen with the screen manager. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go back to our screen manager class and uh, we're going to add it in as a local variable to that class. So we'll say private um, debug screen as new debug. All right. So we're going to create a new um, a new instance of that debug class directly in our screen manager. We wouldn't do that for any other screens uh, in the game. So in the new, we want this to be created as soon as the screen manager class is created. So we are going to add screen immediately and that will be a debug screen. We're going to have to make some modifications to our update sub as well to manage this debug screen. The debug screen will be um, constantly refreshing and monitor, <laughs> monitor, monitoring uh, what screens are active in the screen manager. So we'll have to clear it out with each cycle. We'll do debug screen uh, dot screens. Remember, that's the, the text string that we created and formatted in the debug screen. And this is going to display screens. And then <clears throat> this will be appended to as the, the screens change throughout the game. So <clears throat> we're going to have to go down here. and uh, set debug screen dot screens plus equals screen dot name Oops, sorry remember we were calling found screen so we want to go through this list of screens and whatever screens are found in the list we want to add them to our debug screen string. So we are going to say plus equals found screen dot name. So it's going to grab the screen by name and then we want to add on um, a little comma and a space. So however many screens it finds, you know, it'll find the screen, add a comma and a space to the end of it, so they're always kind of separated. <coughs> and once we do that, we are going to reset the debug screen and move it to the top of the list of screens. Okay, so we are going to um, come down here to where we cleaned up the new screens and set a little note for ourselves. Reset debug screen to top of list and here we'll just say screens dot remove debug screen okay so we yank it out of there wherever it is in the in in the screens list because we added that to the screens list we want it to always be on the top of that stack. So it's not actually going to be monitoring itself. <clears throat> and add the debug screen back in. So we pull it out of that, no matter, no matter what its index is in that list array, it's going to pull it out and add it to the very top of that stack. And then we can tell it not to, to watch that for that debug screen. So another thing we have to do is come down to where we are checking our screen focus. And um, when we set our screen 
our whatever screen is focused to true, we're going to take that debug screen and monitor the focused screen in that list and report it. So we'll say focused. Remember, we set that uh, focus screen in the debug class as a separate string. So we're going to add that here. Do the exact same thing we did up there with the active screens. And we'll this the screen. <clears throat> Sorry, I did that again. Wait. Oh, that was not. <laughs> okay. I want to grab my index value. That name. So as soon as any screen in our game grabs focus, um, our debug screen is going to report that that screen now has focus. 